What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. Just a quick player of the week review today. We obviously have a brand new update. Well, it's not really brand new, is it? It's just kind of the same old, same old. Until we get the new update V4.4, V4.2, sorry, in December, we're just going to be getting the rinse and repeat of the player of the weeks, right? But there are a couple of players in this player of the week I definitely will be interested in playing with. I'm going to be testing these out obviously over the next few days on my stream. Danny Almo looks really good with long range shooting and of course you have a Luckman who was one of my favorite players to use on my free account. The old free Luckman that they gave. He was absolutely insane, right? But as I said, you will always be able to get a free spin at this by playing the event and then it's gonna cost you 100 coins. You have three spins at that as well. So you can get a maximum of four of the 11 here every week, okay? So we're going to start with the four here at the back, including this booster as a left mid, left back here on A rating. He can play left back, can't play any other position as you see here, but he does get the booster. He's going to have the cross and plus three. Fairly okay player skills, but I think that this is a bit of a disappointment one. Obviously his speed and acceleration are going to go to the 90 zone. His balance and stamina are going to be, you know, where they need to be as well. Passing is okay. Defensively, he's not going to be that good, but he is an attack and fullback. I don't think that this was the best choice for a booster in this pack, to be honest with you. Same with this kid here. He's a right back, 21-year-old from Juventus, Savona. 85 speed acceleration, but very, very, very average stats. Now, he does have blocker and interception for an attack and fullback, which is quite rare. One touch pass and pinpoint cross and a man marking is pretty decent with fighting spirit. Nice, nice, nice skills, but stats let him down. And it is the same with Ogawa here. Uh, this guy is 82 speed, 80 acceleration. 84 finishing because he can play obviously in that central role but not out wide it's an okay card as i said i'm kind of a bit down on these player of the weeks the last couple of weeks and i just feel like they need a big like you know oomph. they need something a little bit special in them right these three boys here at the bottom including booster Solanka, he is pretty decent dominic Solanka is pretty decent with the booster he's going to have his speed his acceleration his kicking power his jumping his physical contact and he's finishing exactly where you need him to be. Yes, acceleration at 85 would be nice, but more than makes up for it with the attack and awareness as a goal poacher. Very decent with the striker's instinct. And of course, he's got pretty much everything that you could want. Chip shot control, long range curler, first time shot. Doesn't have one touch pass, which is a little bit of a pity on this card. And then we have Adam Armstrong as well, who's playing as a right midfielder, but can play left, right, right wing, central, SS, whatever you want as a creative playmaker. Don't really like creative playmakers unless they have really stats that overcompensate for the lack of AI movement with the creative playmaker. I'm working on a video for creative playmakers at the moment. A lot of people asking me, creative playmaker versus whole player. Yeah, we'll do the video on it, right? But tie possession, finishing, acceleration, kicking power, very nice average stats really for this guy. Just very average players, right? These players, 92, 93 overall, they're just going to get to slot into free-to-play squads. Yes, you can play them in divisions at the, at the top tier as well, but it's going to be a little bit more difficult, right? And then, of course, we have this guy, right? lads. I actually didn't know that this uh, guy was the son of Diego Simeone, right? Uh, if I'm not mistaken. Very nice speed. I know he scored the weekend as well. Finishing is pretty decent as a whole player. And he's got a load of player skills. Double touch, soul control, scissors faint, first time shot, one touch pass, gamesmanship, fighting spirit. Doesn't have a face in game as of yet, but he is on a rating, so he's probably worth a pop if you do get him. Now, on to kind of the big boys here. Well, obviously, we'll get rid of Bulk as well. I don't even really review the goalkeepers, lads. The goalkeepers are all the same. You know, if you don't have one of the top five goalkeepers in the game by now, you're probably doing it wrong, to be honest with you, okay? But let's just talk about the three big boys, which is Kubo, Luckman, and Almo, right? We'll get rid of Arnu Martinez out of here as well. He's an okay right back. I mean, we just have too many right backs this week uh, and left backs. You've got one, two, three, and then obviously you've got a couple of other denominating contracts with Dan Byrne there as well. I have a video on that, right? But Luckman is definitely an interesting choice as a whole player, right? He can play left wing, left mid, right wing, right mid, attacking, kind of through the middle with an SS or a CF. Can't play AMF as a whole player. You can't train at him, obviously, either because he's a trending card type. But what a card, man. This is a very nice card. He doesn't have... Um, he doesn't have flip-flap, right? That's the only thing, le like, let down on this card. But his double touch is really, really beautiful, right? It's very fast, very rapid, kind of Iniesta-like. Because he's so short, he has that low center of gravity. Double touch, chop turn, soul control, long-range curler and shooting. First-time shot, one-touch pass, true pass, and super sub. As a super sub and a free-to-play squad, you literally have a perfectly balanced card. You're going to have the speed and acceleration at 90, kicking power over 85, finishing over 85, Ball control, dribbling, tight possession, and attacking awareness. Super, super, super nice. 
And this guy look, looks to be a really, really good player. I'd actually like United to buy him, to be honest with you. Kubo is kind of similar to that as well. He gets the booster, which is going to bring up his speed and acceleration to 90. Balance over 90. And then tight possession, dribbling and ball control all over 90 with the manager boost as well. Finishing at 85. Very solid card. Ball carrying plus 3. And a very nice player card skills here as well. Kind of a different card than you'd be used to. I still think the Kubo center forward version was the best ever. But that's kind of where Danny Almo comes in as an attacking midfielder and the pick of the pack here. He doesn't have the booster, having a great season for Barcelona. I mean, Barcelona are just absolutely dominating at the moment, boys. They're a joy to watch. Tight possession, ball control, low pass, finishing, acceleration, balance, all at the either threshold of 90 or 85. And I do like Almo. I like his player style. I like his whole player playing style uh, in terms of how he moves. And I also think that it seals it with the super sub. Him and Luckman are the picks because of the super sub. None of these cards, boys, in my opinion, can compete with the likes of Cruyff, Dennis Law, um, Kaka, Iniesta, the big time cards. They can't because they're obviously going to be potentially free cards that you can get. So they're not going to give them. I think Konami have kind of reined it back in a little bit. They've reined it back in a little bit with the free cards. We're not getting Costa Cortes or anymore. We're not getting Santos Neymar's anymore. We're not getting Ben Whites that are in-game level players or nearly in-game level players, okay? And we're definitely not getting Beckenbauer's. But these cards are nice to play with and I hope I do spin and get Danny Alma because I want to use that card. But Luckman is probably the pick of the pack here if you're looking for a super sub. It's a nice player of the week selection from these three boys. And I would also probably throw Solanke in there. And I would probably throw this guy in there for his just amount of skills. And he looks like a fun player, right? But anyway, that is it for me. I will catch you guys later in a stream or in another video. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll talk to you later. Have a good one. Peace.